Pat Forty from Sports Illustrated, congratulations. Your consistency continues on the same plane. How have you been able to maintain it without really any noticeable wobbles? Yeah, I mean, I, I try to be as, as consistent as possible every day. Um, and I think the, the biggest thing in, in a sport like swimming where you know, we, we kind of have few opportunities to, to race at this level, you, you have to pull motivation from a lot of different parts of your life. And so I feel like I've struck a good balance of, you know, some days it's, it's pulling motivation from, from, from just raw competitiveness. Some days it's pulling motivation from, from focusing in on technique. Some days it's, it's really just being disciplined with the routine. Uh, so, I, so I feel like I've got a really good group of people around me. They, they keep me grounded and you know, I'm, I'm really motivated to, to try to improve. Hey Ryan, um, we've seen some really great coach swimmer relationships in, in this sport. You and Dave Durden, it's, it's an all-timer. It's 11 years now. Um, why does that work so well? Why do you two work so well together? And why does he continue to help you on this, on this path that you've been on for so long? Yeah, I mean, I, I can't talk from, from Dave's side, uh, but, but from my side, I, I just have so much respect for Dave. I think the, the biggest thing that, that you want as an athlete is to know that your coach is, is constantly thinking uh, about how you can improve. And, and Dave has an incredible work ethic. So, so I know at, at all times, he's, he's working as hard as he can to, to maximize his athlete's potential. Uh, and, and you could feel that across the group. So, you know, we we all we all come in, and you know, in a lot of ways, we want to work hard because we don't we don't want to let Dave down. Uh, so he is he's the man. I got I got a lot of love for for Dave. Um, yeah, and it, it, it's been a great ride. Hey Ryan, Paul Newberry from Associated Press. Uh, congratulations. Um, are you uh, going into these games? Uh, is there any extra motivation, you know, after that, you know, silver and bronze, the, to get back on top, uh, like you were in Rio? Is that uh, where where is your state of mind thinking of uh, of the last Olympics? Yeah, there, there's definitely no shortage of motivation from from my end. Uh, I've I've had a, a fire under. I mean, I feel like I've always got a fire under my butt. I'm I'm a. I feel like I'm I'm a really motivated person. Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely coming off the last Olympics, I, I want to win every time I touch the water, uh, whether that's a, a Monday morning practice or, or an Olympic final. So yeah, I, I want to go to the Olympics and I want to win. Hey Ryan, Lane Higgins from the Wall Street Journal. You know, in the last Olympics, kind of on that note, um, your competitors that beat you, you were pretty outspoken about some of your thoughts there. Um, they doesn't seem like they were they will be at the Olympics this time around, but given that there has been some questions about clean sport with swimming, is that something that's been on your mind? And what are your general thoughts about that? Yeah, I mean, I, I think from from my side, I, I've had conversations with, with people in the US government. I've had conversations with people high up at, at World Aquatics. Uh, I've had conversations with, with US anti-doping. Uh, so yeah, definitely, I'm definitely behind the scenes expressing my thoughts and, and learning everything I can about, about what's going on and, and I'm gonna continue to do that. Hey Ryan, Dandy Donna from Swimming World. Uh, you seem, you always seem so calm and so poised, um, you know, throughout these stressful meets. Uh, obviously, it's stressful for everybody. At what point does it sink in the magnitude of what you've been able to accomplish and what you've, especially this time, what you've been able to accomplish again? Yeah, I mean, for now, I'm, I'm already kind of thinking about the 200 back. So, like, when, when I'm in a meet, it's, it's, really, it's really just trying to stay in it. Uh, after, after this meet, I'll probably give myself a day to, to let it let it soak in, but but after that I'll, I'll be right on to the Olympics uh, and then try to be great there. So I've always thought that I'll appreciate my career uh, a little bit more when I'm when I'm done swimming, uh, and, and I can kind of zoom out. For for right now, I'm I'm really zoomed in on on everything I'm doing on a day to day basis.
uh, Ryan, John Mullen from Social Kick. Uh, two questions. Um, you arguably have the best backstroke start in the world. How would you rate this backstroke start? And was it better than Hunter's yesterday? And then second, um, Trevor Lawrence is 1-2 and two in Lucas Oil. You're 1-0. and oh. Would you say you're better than Trevor Lawrence? <laughs> well, I'd say on, on the first one, yeah, my, my start was definitely better than Hunter's start last night. I didn't see Hunter's start tonight. Uh, I'm assuming it was better than last night's stuff. Uh, yeah, I think I'm hoping Trevor keeps on keeps on adding some wins to to that record in, in Lucas Oil. We'll see. They, they got some they got some more tall weapons on offense, so we'll see how it goes. Ryan, you've known Caleb Dressel for an extremely long time. Um, what's been your take on his comeback, and what do you expect from him? What has he said to you that that maybe has been especially revealing over these past few weeks and months? Yeah, I honestly haven't even seen him since since we've been out here. Um, but he he gets rolling tomorrow. I'm I'm expecting great performances. You know, Caleb's a Caleb's a gamer. He'll be he'll be ready to rock. he'll be ready to rock. He likes the the bright lights. So so I'm expecting great things. Last question. Ryan, in the early 2000s, a lot was made about the leadership of Aaron Pearsall and just how zen of a guy he was. Every time he got in the water, he let the swimming speak for itself and he'd get things done. Now a three-time Olympian, can you sort of talk about your perspective on that leadership that, you're, that you've given this U.S. team and compare your emotions now to your first Olympic team in 2016? Yeah, sure. So there's, I mean, there's so many different styles of, of leadership and, I mean, I've, I've still view Aaron as as a leader to me like he he called me a couple of days before before trials this time around Lenny Kreiselberg uh talked to me a couple of days ago too so we, we've always had really good leadership on Team USA and I think my leadership style is kind of just a blend of, of all of those guys I, I view Aaron as someone who was he was just really really chill and like you said he he went out and he kind of let the performance do the do the talking um I think Lenny's someone I mean, Lenny's someone where I, I think my personality and, and Lenny's is, is really similar. Like he's he hasn't really ever turned it off. Like he's just kind of going, going, going. I was on to the next thing. I was trying to be great. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I think my my leadership style is I try to just tell stories. Like I, I just want I want our I want our team to feel as comfortable as possible when they walk onto the deck at, at the Olympics for the first time. Uh, so, so any any anecdotes I can give to to help them feel comfortable, that's that's what I'm trying to do. And then in terms of the emotions this time compared to to the first Olympic trials or the first time I made the team in 2016, yeah, I mean I think it's totally different. Like in, in 2016, I was like I was like giddy. I was uh, I was a little kid. Uh, and, and I felt like I I went into that hundred back final in 2016. I was I was so nervous. I was, I was lined up next to Matt Grievers and, and David Plummer, you know, both both guys who were in their 30s and and really had a ton of experience under their belt and, and were swimming really well. So I, I knew I had to have a really, really good swim uh, in order to make the team in, in 2016. And, and that was the most pressure I'd ever dealt with at that point. So so that was kind of, I didn't know how it, how it would turn out. I didn't know how I would deal with the pressure. Uh, where this time around, I, I feel really, I feel really confident. When I go into a big final and, and there's a lot of pressure, I feel like I could perform really well in that in that circumstance. So going into tonight, I, I had a lot of confidence that yeah, I was I was super nervous, uh, but I know I could handle that well. Uh, so tonight it was yeah, it, it was a little bit more comfortable as compared to 2016. Thank you, Ryan. Yep. Thank you.